In the latest quarter of PES Wind Magazine, Joel, there's a really interesting article about safety equipment, and it is from Cresto. And if you've seen some of their devices, they have a couple of, of emergency descent devices. One that's a manual device, but the one I was looking at was the one they were talking about in the article, which is this automatic uh, descent device that is stuck to you. So it's part of your general equipment you go up and down the tower with. So it's something a little bit different because a lot of those escape systems are actually mounted in the nacelle. This is a different approach, though. I really like this approach uh, because what they're doing is basically taking this, uh, what they call the Solo X, this rescue device, and they're integrating it with your daily kit. So think about it's like something like you have your gloves with you all the time. So you know how your gloves work. You have your harness with you all the time. You know how to put your harness on. So you're so used to the piece of kit that it becomes something, it becomes a part of you, right? Like your hard hat. Every day you put your helmet on. Like You know these things. And, And this is a different approach as opposed to the traditional approach which is a there might be a self-rescue kit or something up tower it might be in a different spot stored in every nacelle it might be behind a generator it might be over you know by a bearing or somewhere or you're and if you're traveling especially if you're a traveling wind technician you're going into different turbines you don't know exactly where the self-rescue kit is and that hasn't even touched on the idea of how do these things maintain? How often have they been checked? Are they are you know are they fit for duty? Uh, and you don't really in the case that you need to use a self rescue device, you don't have time to try to find it. Hopefully, it's in good use or any of these other things. So what Cresto has done with this device is they put it right with the person. It's with them every day. They are trained on it. Of course, that's one of the most important things, but it just becomes a part of your everyday kit. So you're used to using it, Um, you know, because the last thing we ever want to hear about uh, in the wind industry is something where someone gets stuck up tower. There's a fire, there's an incident, there's an accident or whatever may happen. Or, you know, someone someone twists an ankle bad enough up tower. You may need to use it just to get them down. They're not going to be able to climb the ladder down. So having this thing with you every day and being trained on it regularly, um, that's key. I think the other part of this is the training, right? So there's a there's an old college football coach who used to say, "Don't train until you get it right. Train until you can't get it wrong." Uh, and that's part of the what they're taking on with this, with Cresto's taking on here. Cresto also owns some training centers, so they're uh, doubling down on training, having the right kit, putting it with the people, and ensuring the safety of some of our um, wind technicians out in the field. I think it's a great product. Yeah, so there's plenty of great articles in PES Wind this quarter. So if you want your free copy, just go to PESWind.com and download it.